have a look at this pen, the Muji. And this is, uh, I'm just checking my, my notes, it's actually called the Muji Aluminum Black. Fascinating, because there is no black. But even so, uh, it came in a small plastic box and uh, it had little uh, filling instructions and such. Oops, sorry. Uh, yes, no, that is a great way to hold them uh, in Japanese. Uh, and that's, uh, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Is this the right way to hold them? I, uh, yes, it's definitely the correct way to hold them. Sorry, sorry, I can't, I don't, I don't read uh, characters. Now, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Muji is one of those brands that people really love, and for which I uh, receive a lot of review requests. I had not reviewed any Muji pens yet, because I couldn't find them here, and then I was on holiday and I ran into a Muji store. Muji, for those of you who are not familiar with it, a Japanese concept um, uh, stores uh, where they try to make minimalist products at decent prices. Okay, so here you have the Muji, uh, clearly compact pen, a uh, pocket pen, has some good things going for it. Aluminum, so fairly light, but should also be fairly robust. Okay, let's start at the top of the pen. That finial, nothing going on there. Clip, well, it's it's a clip. It, it does what it's supposed to do. It's uh, fairly springy, as you can see. That's nice. Uh, you have the very large cap. Uh, the cap extends all the way to down here. Uh, and the idea of that is that you pop that open. You have a very small pen that is about the same size as the cap. And then at the end here, you have a little uh, rubber o-ring and then a thicker bit there and of course the idea is that you pop this on I mean I would not be able to use this this unposted that, that doesn't work but if you post it you get a full-size pen okay let's look at, I'll come back to that but let's look at the nib it, it looks like a Schmidt nib yeah, it says Iridium Point and below that is undoubtedly Germany uh, it's a standard Schmidt nib, you also find this in the Visconti Classic uh, which also shows how you know markup and such works because this pen is 1995 Visconti Classic is definitely not uh, and then you have this very long section very long and you can unscrew the back end of this a lot of threads and then in there fits a little cartridge. Just a standard international cartridge goes in there quite deeply. I was unable to fit a converter in this pen, but maybe a Caveco, one of those small squeeze converters, would fit. This, of course, is a very small part, so be careful it won't roll off your desk and you can't find it anymore. And that's all there's to it. So the whole thing fits together decently. You get a nice pen. What do I like about it? Well, 1995 for a pocket pen. I'm talking euros here, not not dollars. Um, that's not bad. You get a a pen with a decent nib. Uh, it is a Schmidt nib. I found the nib very scratchy. Uh, it is a finer nib. It's it's uh, definitely not the smoothest nib I've ever used. It's it's quite scratchy, but it performs. It does write, uh, and I'm sure you could smooth it out if you would wish to do so. Uh, I also, at the time I'm doing this, I don't know which of these two reviews is going to go out first, but I also got a full-sized um, Muji there, and those are the same, sorry, those two pens have the same nibs on them, uh, but the one on the, the pocket, the compact Muji, is a lot scratchier than the one on the full-sized Muji. Could just be an anomaly, I really don't know. What do I like about it? Well, the price is nice. I like the concept. There's nothing we haven't seen before. The Oto Tasha is very similar to this, where you just put it, uh, you, you post it to, to use it. Uh, Caveco, of course, with pens like this, the, the sport, this is the brass board with the plastic sport. They've been doing that for a long time. So there's nothing we haven't seen before, but what you do get with such a big cap and a short pen is, of course, a very nice pocket pen. I know that some people really like this because if you put this in a shirt pocket, for example, it won't stick out very far. So in that regard, it's very carryable. And I do really like that. I also like that there's not a lot of plastic. It is aluminum, so it should be, or aluminium, for my British friends. Um, it should, uh, you know, it should be able to, to take a bit of a, a pounding because it is aluminum, so it's, it won't crack as easily as plastic would. 
Uh, and I think that's that's very neat. So the pen definitely has a lot of nice design features going for it, even under the, I don't know if you can really see that, but no, probably not. Under the clip is a little breather hole so you won't draw a vacuum. So they, they clearly put thought in this. But there's also quite a couple of things I don't like about it. The nib is scratchy, and it shouldn't be, but I have some, I think, some more profound issues with it. First of all, this clicking mechanism is insane. That really requires a lot of strength to use, and listen to it. I mean, that is, that is an enormous click. Now you may think, yeah, okay, so what? You have to pull it a little harder, and you have to push it a bit harder to, to cap it. What's the big deal? Well, I'll tell you what the big deal is. The big deal is that with such a loud snap, not so much the, the loudness, but the, the forcefulness of the snap, ink turns into a sort of aerosol spray and it sprays the inside of the barrel. And what you end up with, okay, I'm going to use my fancy sheet again. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but right there, see that? Those are specks of ink. Ink that is just launched because it is dislodged upon the with the impact of the, the click. And I've already cleaned it before I did the review, but there were streaks of ink down here. And that means you're going to get inky fingers. And uh, you may or may not object to that, but if you are in a business meeting, the pen looks very cool, but I find that ink leakage to be a bit of an issue. Um, I, I wonder how they, if that lip in there is so tight or whatever, but in any case, I think that requires a bit of redesigning. Second issue I had is the posting, this is nice, but it doesn't work perfectly well. Uh, the the barrel rotates quite a bit now of course it's not screwed on so there will be some rotation but the fit isn't ultra tight and that also means that it can easily become dislodged you probably can't even see that in focus I'm sorry it it gets dislodged fairly easily and then you get this gap there um, which I know is very minor but aesthetically, I don't think it really works well. Uh, it, 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 it just uncaps too, too easily, it, it moves too easily. And so, <laughs> my problem is, this um, movement is actually too loose, and this movement is actually too tight. So, I, I, I'm not in love with this pen. Neat concept, could use a little bit of work. I would say. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is a writing sample. Dimensions of the pen as well as high resolution pictures can be found on my website sbrebrown.com. Check it out there. Up next, writing sample. Hope this was useful so far. And I'm sorry the pen made me a little bit moochy. <laughs> Joke. I'd like to see you later. Bye bye. Okay, here we go with the Muji. Hmm. Aluminum black. It came with a black cartridge. Maybe that's why it's called black and that's also the ink used here. The nib looks like a fine. A lot of feedback. That is fairly unpleasant, I would say. Fast writing, well, it does flow. You see, there's no real skip, so that's very good. Wetness, I don't really know the properties of this ink, because I'm, I'm assuming it's quote-unquote Muji Black. But it's quite wet, especially in such a fine nib. So the, the ink flow is, is really nice, it's just a bit scratchy, so this is a nib I would definitely smooth out. Line variation can be had, which is also nice for those of you who enjoy such a thing. Reverse writing, fairly wet, you can do that, and then you go, it's, you can see it's drier though, I mean it's a fairly wet nib so you can reverse it, that's what I try to say. Um, you can reverse it, it will be drier, and you would go from, I would say, fine to extra fine. Okay, there you have it. I hope this was useful. 
and um, I'll gladly see you later.